How you doing? Um, just wanted to show you my Bedini setup. Over there on the left is the run battery with a multimeter hooked up to it. Talking about or showing how much it's drawing for the run. All right, I'm at 310 to 315 milliamps. Um, seems high to me, but that's the way it is. Um, there's my DD motor. There's the coil. Over here is the run or the charge side. All right, I got these two 12 volt Wally World batteries. Got them for 25 bucks a pop at Wally World. All right. The, they also had the multimeters, but I ended up getting a few more off the internet. Alrighty, so uh, run on the left, charge on the right. There's the wheel. It's a plastic mongoose five spoke mag wheel. I have 15 sets of three ceramic magnets, um, the dominoes looking ones. Um, it's three because one fits in the channel of the bicycle rim. The, you know, it fits in there good. And then I have two perpendicular on top, and that's the way it goes. Uh, I was not trying to triple stack them for any reason other than to get the correct clearance from the uh, angle that I had set up on that brace for the, for the coil. So I'm running. 313 milliamps to run, 94 I'm getting back on the output side, and that's really not that good. So, I mean, that's not even 30% efficient. So, uh, one of the things that I did here to squeeze some extra juice out of this bad boy, take another coil. And the second coil is not set up with a Bedini circuit. The second coil runs to a bridge rectifier. A little Radio Shack job. It's uh, 50 volts, 4 amps. And if you don't know how to hook up a bridge rectifier, it's very simple. There's always a plus peg so the plus is always identified there's two with the squiggly line that represents the AC and the only one that's left over is DC negative alrighty so that's my multimeter telling me it's about the auto shut off and uh, let's see And the other thing is that I have an inverter hooked up to my charge battery, which is charging up my drill battery. It's an 18 volt standard because I didn't spring for the XRs. Um, 18 volt standard drill battery, you know, or other tool battery. And I'm gonna run it. I'm gonna run the charge or the run side off of that 18 volt battery in a minute. And uh, so going back to the bridge rectifier. I'm sorry, ADD like a lot. <laughs> um, there's that other coil. It's a bifiler coil, 2024, uh, about 750 to 800 turns. Okay, that's going over to this bridge rectifier. And let's see. I just have those popping in there. Alright, well that's about that for that. So that is my setup. Um right, we got the run battery, a wheel plastic wheel it was a five spoke so there was three sets of magnets for each spoke section and made as even as I could okay my circuit 
the wires from the coil run directly into this breadboard. So I've used the absolute minimum amount of wire that I could to set this up. Um, and that clamp is holding the wire from the coil and the one from over here. Yes, this one goes there. That's about that. So there's nothing magical going on over here, no over unity yet. And uh, the only thing that is unique here that I'm aware of is the extra coil just runs over to a bridge rectifier. And then I'm setting it up to a multimeter. And um, actually, that number is pretty interesting because I'm getting on the run side, 312 milliamps to run. On the charge side, I'm only getting 95, 94. And then by putting an extra coil and pulling that off, you get 170 average-ish extra milliamps. So, um, this battery charger is plugged into, or the, yeah, the battery charger is plugged into the inverter, which is currently hooked up to the charge battery. And so far, I've been running for about a week, just going back and forth um, and hopping around. So, I hope you like my setup. That's why I showed it to you. And uh, happy experimenting and tinkering to everybody. Thanks.